my dear virgo hello how are you how are you doing virgo my name is tabitha i'm with tabitha this is going to be your flower reading timeless flower reading of course um whenever you're watching this there could be messages for you from the spirit we're going to be channeling some messages intuitive messages and this is just the nature of this reading okay it is very intuitive and psychic so yeah there is a very very strong energy of romance virgo that i tapped on too and some of you, it's almost like you're in your head, okay? You are maybe thinking of how to resolve things. I mean, that's a very Virgo trait right there. You know, maybe some of you are very busy with your career, trying to plan for your future. But there's this like silver lining. There's like this, uh, I want to say, colorfulness, you know, a color from the rainbow that is bringing romance into your life. And for a lot of you, this is signifying a person maybe entering your life, someone that you're connecting with, or you needing to just simply make some room for romance in your life right now, Virgo. And for some reason, I just are Cancer. Some you could be connecting with a Cancer. Water energy is here and fire. Um, I'm even hearing Scorpio specifically, but yeah, we can definitely see about it. Leap or two. There is a very traditional type of... Uh, love like an old-fashioned type of love entering your life some of you it could be something that you've asked for from the spirit maybe some of you've asked for a very loyal partner someone that listens to you someone that could also have the same values as you maybe be monogamous be committed to you virgo and i'm hearing that it's coming this type of commitment is definitely coming if it is something that you've paid, prayed for and asked for now some of you, I just heard you could be purchasing some things, okay? And this could be in regards to your home, okay? Maybe you're purchasing also a home for me to say that. But I'm hearing keep the receipts. Maybe you even keep the receipts or that's significant to you. Maybe some of you are doing your taxes or are in the process of doing some contracts. Really pay attention to the details, but I'm definitely hearing that things will go well, especially if this is a type of deal that you're making. You know what you're doing. Your intuition is definitely spot on and you're very wise, okay? Yeah, don't be afraid. I'm seeing shades of brown. I just heard Capricorn you could also be connecting with. Maybe some of you are also changing uh, your hairstyle or you could be changing the color of your hair as well. Let me see here what's going on. I just heard don't nitpick, Virgo. Okay, you could be kind of really in this energy of I want everything to be perfect. I want everything to be right. And the spirit here is saying relax. You know, you don't have to be in power 24-7. But you can let things in the hands of the spirit and relax a little. For me to say that, maybe some of you have been working really hard without having a break. But um, it's needed for you to take a break, honey, here. Hey? So yeah, let me see. I just noticed here I have some dryness. Some of you, maybe you're going to be moisturizing a little bit more or you need to take good care of your body. Okay? Your skin, maybe. This is also speaking of recovery energy for either you or for someone around you that you could know. I'm seeing closeness with a person and warmth. I'm visualizing candles, so there could be intimacy between you and a person here or a sense of closeness. Maybe you're going to have someone here opening up to you or telling you in regards to their feelings. Um... This is also giving me exploring energy. So some of you, it could be that somebody here wants to explore you, the whole being of you, your body. Um, there's definitely a strong energy of touch as well here that's coming through. It's like sensing, strong energy sensation in your reading, all right? Well, let's see more about it. I'm seeing kids here. Some of you could have children or there is the energy of children for your future if that's a part of your plan. Happy family, happy home. Okay, so don't be so afraid. Some of you, I feel like especially if you're single, you could be kind of afraid. Why do I see a button here? Some of you, I just saw a button. Everything will be falling into place for you. Okay, as the message. Some of you, this is also speaking of you having uh, services and support around you. So don't be afraid to like let people close, Virgo. Okay? Especially if you're not used to it is what I just heard. 
if you're not used to somebody being there for you or keeping you company, maybe some of you live alone or haven't been having a partner in so long. I want to show you this because <laughs> look at how gorgeous this is. I don't know if you can see this, but it almost is a like a love shape. And for some reason, I heard in my own mother tongue, agon, which is fire, right? It means fire. So some of you could be connecting with a fire sign or someone that exudes that energy, has fire within their chart. But this is speaking of a love, a connection that's very passionate. That is just, you know how amber, when you blow on it, it just spreads around. It's the same energy. And I feel like for me to hear amber in your reading, Virgo, Amber can go off, right? Amber can actually um, can go off if you're not going to blow on it. It's not going to turn into fire. It's not going to actually spread around. So for some of you, there could be either needed for you to actually be very hopeful in regards to your connections, in regards to love, because I feel like some of you, the Spirit is saying you either lost hope in love or you might have been heartbroken. You might be having a hard time believing more or trusting more in love. And the Spirit is saying, hey, there is one amber. And if you just had enough courage to blow on it and to let it spread and to activate your heart chakra to also see this connection is valuable, it's going to be valuable. All right. It is what you think of it as. So there's something about you seeing things as valuable, you not underestimating the power of love, you not underestimating somebody's feelings for you, which is, you know, uh, not sabotaging your connection here that's coming through. That's very significant here for you, Cancer, uh, <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> you could be connecting with a Cancer for Cancer to come through. Um, for me to say Cancer, maybe some of you have found a connection around cancer season or cancer season might have been really significant in terms of your love life all right but this is just speaking of a lot of intimacy and homey energy sense of belonging there could be a connection that you feel like you belong to this person that this person brings that sense of home to you um somebody could also cook okay virgo somebody could cook or be very traditional or be a keeper i love that I love that energy. It looks almost like a love spell, okay? If I'm looking at it, it looks like a love spell. So for some of you, definitely you might have put a spell on someone without even trying. And it's like, okay, well, um, I guess this person's just gonna, you know, not go anywhere because they're so much in love with me. Yeah, there's something about sharing, sharing food, sharing maybe bed, you know, together which is a beautiful energy. And some of you, it's interesting because uh, I'm hearing the Persian word for spouse, hamsar, right? Um, some of you, maybe you know Persian. I don't know why I just heard that in my head, but um, in Persian, what that means is when you say spouse, hamsar, it means that you're sleeping next to someone. That's what the literal like meaning of the word is. So some of you, maybe you're going to be sleeping next to someone or you're going to be moving in with someone. But uh, that's what I channeled. And those of you that are Persian, maybe you're going to notice this definitely, right? But that's something I'm channeling. I know different languages. So that's why sometimes I channel different words, you know, in different languages. So that really um, might be specific and significant to those of you that are watching that might speak the, the same language, right? So yeah, spouse energy coming through. That's what you're manifesting, Virgo. This is all I have for you, my darling. Very, very significant and special reading. Do know that you can also save this reading to always come back to it, of course, and do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in having a personal reading with me. My information is down below. And yeah, if you would like for me to do more flower readings, you can let me know as well. Sending my kiss. Mm -hmm. My warm race and my love and light. Bye-bye, honey. Take care.